Your mind, it is like a gun. And you want to load it up with little itty bitty bullets of knowledge. Message! All right, family. Thank you for tuning in to another episode. It's your guy, Boro, the Lucky Libra, all right? And as you can see by the title, we picking up the Mars Through the Sign series with Mars and Tars, all right? So before we get into it, family, make sure to check out my Patreon if you want to continue to walk this journey of self-discovery and learning yourself and the world we live in through astrology. If, you can, if you're interested in, you know, diving deep, deeper with your boy, all right, check out my Patreon and all that good stuff, all right? But for the most part, let's get right into Mars and Taurus. All right. Mm, mm. Now, what is Mars, all right? Mars is our passions, all right? Mars is the tool we're utilizing when we're just setting intentions on things, all right? And we have that heat within us, that charge that we want to release and, you know, connect it to something and place it towards something, all right? That's your Mars energy. And when Mars don't get to meet its passions, all right, and its goals and its intentions, it turns into anger and frustration. That could be overwhelming, all right? So this is like the, arc, the you know, the frequency vibration of Mars for the most part. Now, when we look at Taurus, Taurus is fixed Earth ruled by Venus. So the Taurus archetype is dealing with, you know, growth, patience, stability, okay? Building a secured, uh, you know, physical reality to be comfortable in, connecting to its values, all right? So when we put Mars in Taurus, we know wherever Mars is at, this is how you're going to push out your passions. So the thing about Mars in Taurus, it's debilitated here. It's, it, it, it falls here, all right? Because when we look at an energy like Taurus where we want to deal with growth, patience, Mars be on go. So a Mars in Taurus person, there's going to be a lot of passion to create stability. It's going to be a lot of passion and, and goal and intention setting towards getting the bag, financial security, how you organize and structure, you know, your physical reality, all right, how you support these things. But these people are going to deal with frustration because they have so much passion and they miss and, and it, they're putting passion in places that they need to learn to stop and let things grow for a bit. So it's like Mars and Taurus people, y'all the type of people to plant the seed in the garden and then keep coming out on the day you planted the motherfucker. Like ain't nothing gonna grow the day you planted it, all right? Like you gotta give it some time, Mars and Taurus. We know you passionate to get stability. We know you get your emotions inspired and, and riled up. When you see other people getting from point A to B with their passions and growing stability and, you know, having maybe certain access to things in this physical realm that you'd like to experience if you feel unfulfilled in that area in some type of shape or form. We know you devoted, but you got to learn to stay down, Mars and Taurus, because when you put it here, Taurus need, that Taurus is a garden. It needs time to grow. It need time for the seeds that you plant, you know, to resonate in that soil. You need to give yourself time to even see where the weeds are growing. A lot of y'all could be self, uh, what's the word, you know, self-destructive or self, uh, or, or this energy could play at a self-detriment because you're so passionate that you could kind of burn through reality in a ways with the, in a way with the things that you're, tr that you're trying to grow. All right. So it's like this, like a Mars and Taurus person, like y'all the type to like, like say, all right, boom. Say you working in some type of industry. You, let's say I got Mars and Taurus and I'm working in some type of industry and I'm real passionate. I'm real passionate about getting this promotion, right? Now, you know, let's say there's talks about, you know, 
me and, 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 and a couple of my other co-workers are being selected, are going to be potentially selected to get this promotion and whatnot. Let's say a couple of days keep on rolling, you know, you're starting to hear it might be you. It might be you. And let's say you actually talk to your boss that's about to get a promotion. He say something to you. They're like, yeah, man, you pretty much the runner. You pretty much, you know, you know, the, our first choice or whatnot. So that if everything goes smooth, you you know, you in there, right? It's between me and you. The Mars and Taurus person might end up asking this person, asking boss every day, every week, like, yo, what's up, boss? Like, like you might, you might start doing a little too much to secure that shit. Taurus deal with security. So this person is passionate about security to the point that they're aggressive and they set they have a, they set an emotional intent because Mars is dealing with our feelings. These people will set an emotional emotional aggressive intent towards things dealing with stability and security to the point at times you know they may be go they may be working too too quick ahead of what's in the present. All right. So my, my, overall, my Mars and Aries people. Y'all gotta learn to let things uh, come to y'all. I mean, Mars and Aries, Mars and Taurus people. All right. Y'all gotta learn to get it, to be inspired. Set the intention, plant the seed, control what you can, and give it give it some time to sprout. Give you give yourself opportunity to see some results, so you can see if you need to make some uh, revisions, reflections to you know your garden. Or if you could see the weeds that's growing over here. Or if you could realize this ain't good soil that you planted in. Some of y'all don't even give yourself the opportunity to see that here. Alright? But your intent to go get the soil, to go get the seed, to go plant the seed, that shit is there. That shit is there. When it comes to Mars and Taurus, like, you're not going to really see somebody that's slacking on how they get in, how they trying to get forms of stability. They too, they, 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 they see forms of stability. They, like Mars and Taurus people, if they broke, that's like, if all 12 Zodi, if all Mars through the signs placements is broke, top three placements that is gonna feel the most vulnerable is gonna be Mars and Taurus. It's gonna be Mars and Taurus, Mars and Capricorn. It's gonna be Mars and Taurus and Mars and Capricorn. I have to think about who make the third one, but yeah, that's too much vulnerability for no goddamn Mars and Taurus. Mars and Taurus is how you is is Taurus is the physical realm. Taurus is, rules the five senses. It's how you connect to what makes you comfortable in the physical realm. Act, your actual possessions. We can even talk about material possessions here. What you have, your support system. So when you have Mars here, it's like when you ain't when Mars feel like it can't connect to so, uh, having a support system. Sometimes when Mars feel like it's not. The, the 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 things that it that is trying to uh, set intentions on its values. It don't got the resources for it, or or uh, is like Mars is, deals with man frustration, not having certain resources or the type of support system to connect to the things that it wants to grow in that garden. But it's going so hard to get the resources for it. It's going so hard to want to situate itself to present it to be presented in a certain way. Yeah, I know Taurus's fits gotta be gotta be. Gotta be that. Gotta be dapper. Y'all know, um. Y'all know Taurus has gotta just to impress. Yo, you know that Taurus energy throws. That Taurus energy is mixes, is mixing Venus, is mixing that Venetian, that Venetian beauty, elegant, fancy, creative, colorful, vibrant, vivid energy with material with security with the physical reality with structure you mixing all of that with that you're gonna have somebody that wants to connect to the most beautiful things in the physical reality but when you put mars in here they ain't got no pay they ain't got no patience for connecting to these things they ain't got no patience for getting their money they ain't got no patience for being broke they ain't got no patience for dealing with no goddamn being laid in laid on bills these they get super frustrated with that shit they ready Mars and Taurus, y'all gotta be careful. Y'all gotta be careful, cause y'all be creative as hell. But dealing with y'all frustrations and certain situations in life, y'all may, y'all, y'all the type to really go. Mars and, and Taurus will take the far route and do some whole other 
crazy illegal shit to get their bag together, get their form of stability. Like Mars and Taurus and give Mars and Taurus ain't thinking twice about hitting no goddamn lip. <laughs> no. Not if they fucked up. Nope. Nope. Remember y'all, when you deal with Mars energy, he's gonna come with a sense of vulnerability when Mars can't can't connect to his passions. When Mars is having, uh, you know, troubles, challenges, and issues and distractions with what it's setting intentions on. So if Taurus is your values and Mars is setting intentions on these things. At times, we may feel like we don't have the resources for these things, the support system. Um, you know, uh, there may be certain... Uh, you, Taurus also deals with, you know, like, whenever we deal with Earth signs, we're dealing with structure, career. All right, found, uh, found the foundation we're building in this lifetime. So it's like a Mars and Taurus person could be, if they had a job they don't want to be at, it's like they every day, every second of the day, they thinking about <laughs> what, how they going to transition out that shit. Everything dealing with foundation, security, and career in this lifetime is high priority Mars in Mars and Taurus. Cause they deal with too much goddamn overwhelming feelings when when things with their security and stability is off so they go dumb hard like mars and taurus they like might be like top five top top five top ten placements for like you know their devotion and consistency towards building stability so like i said they're gonna be they're gonna be real aggressive they may they may burn through reality you know in certain relationships and forms and career and whatnot but <laughs> the way they don't give a fuck about going through them stumbles to get to where they gotta get remember y'all wherever mars is at is where we're gonna be real passionate where we're not gonna want to compromise where we're gonna set intentions where we're not gonna want to relate where we're not gonna want to alter what we're doing so it's like they don't give they they're not here to compromise with us with what they got to do to gain stability you gotta sell t-shirts gotta sell t-shirts you gotta sell rock you gotta sell rock you gotta sell some pills, you gotta sell some pills. You gotta do tower reading. I'm at tower, I'm 15 tower readers a day. I don't know if I gotta hustle spirituality, whatever. I gotta get it, Mars and Taurus. Like they not, that's really how they thinking for real. Alright. You could be dealing with a Mars and Taurus person. You could be dating a Mars and Taurus person. And um just know if they having a bad like period in their life with work or careers, like we just just know you in for it. Like, just just know you're going to... I hope you really like this Mars and Taurus person. Because you ain't going... It's going to be hard for them to hide that emotion and that, that that stress and that frustration. And that passion to want to be out that situation. And that focus that you can see that they have on where they want to get from point A to B. So, it's like, whenever you're talking about structure, organization, resources, you got their ear. You got their ear. It is... It's, they get inspired real quick, Mars and Mars and motherfucker, uh, Mars and Taurus. And Mars and Taurus people, because I'm trying to think, like I was think, because I'm thinking like who more braggadocious, Venus and Taurus and Mars and Taurus? Might be Mars and Taurus. Cause like I said, Venus and Taurus, they kind of don't deal with the the friction that the Mars and Venus and Taurus don't deal with the friction when it comes to connecting to the physical reality and, and dealing with a support system and resources. They may not they 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 get that they they are supported with that. So depending on the Mars and Taurus person alignments, depending on their alignments, it's like it's like. This they they once they once they do get a chance to consistently connect or manifest things in this physical reality that that ego that that they might be on that high horse, all right. And y'all know Mars don't compromise, so when it's on that high horse, it's like <laughs> fuck y'all. <yeah. laughs> if you wasn't with me shooting in the gym, Mars don't care. Literally, Mars don't care. 
wherever you have Mars at, like you don't be caring about other people's opinions. You might, I mean, I mean, other people's critiques and opinions might make you feel vulnerable or like in some type of way, but you, you don't care to the point of changing and altering your intentions and what you want to do where Mars is at. So Mars and Taurus, their career goals, not swaying their mind on that. Spending this much on the outfit to be seen a certain way on New Year's, you're not convincing their mind not to spend all that bread. It's too passionate about that. It's some vulnerability when it's not physically seen the way it want to be seen. When it's not wearing the brands it want to wear. When it don't got the forms of stability. It's just too much, it's too much uh, vulnerability. It's like it's too hard to pay attention to a goddamn relationship or, or a fucking... It's too hard to pay attention to other shit with Mars and Taurus when that shit ain't together. But for the most part, they going so goddamn hard with that shit. You ain't gonna see a you ain't really gonna see a Mars and Taurus person like you know down and out like like not down and out like it's just it's too much willpower backed up into that Taurus energy. And Taurus is about being secure. All right. So oh man, I'm just realizing I ain't do the celebrities. Damn, I'm just realizing I ain't do celebrities for Mars and Aries. Oh well. Mars and Taurus celebrities. Matter of fact, I'm gonna do Mars and Aries. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just edit it. Mars and Taurus celebrities. All right, family. Let's get into some names we may all know with Mars and Taurus. Madonna. Michael Jackson, Adolf Hitler, Kanye West, tuh, Tom Cruise, JFK, Mariah Carey, Celine Dion, Jessica Alba, Mick Jagger, Bruce Willis, Charlie Chaplin, Robert De Niro, Muhammad Ali, Yo, why must have Muhammad Ali that late on the list? Y'all bugging out, Astro theme. What's wrong with y'all? Osama bin Laden. Paul Walker. Alright, y'all 50 Cent. Alright, y'all. So those those are some celebrities right there for Mars and Taurus family. Alright, as you can see, them some people that setting some intentions to how they wanna structure and organize shit. <laughs> Like Mars and Taurus, they're not, when it comes to what they need in order and structure, you're going to see how serious, how direct, how passionate that intention is for that. And you don't really want to come in between that, but you can get so close to them by supporting them things. Like they'll put you on a, if a Mars and Taurus got a career goal and you came in their life and helped them take it from point A to B, or even if you did something that's not that big, but it was big to them, like you helped them learn how to do something with their website, marketing them, oh man, the Mars and Taurus people, they're like, yo bro, when I'm up, I'm gonna remember you when I'm up. It be Mars and Taurus people say like, yo, bro, when this shit come through, I got like, you good, bro. Like, cause it's like they, they love that. They they just got so much intention set towards you know get organizing this physical reality the way they want it structured. All right, family. So y'all already know what it is, man. This shit got bored of Lucky Libra tuning in and tuning out. Check out the Patreon, all right, and see if you want to walk this journey to self-discovery through astrology with your boy. Until next time, we capping off with Mars through Gemini. All right? Peace.